guys, Matt with Top App here. Today I'm going to show you some features of the analytics layer, also known as the heat map layer. This gives you a fantastic colored representation of what's going on in the market around you. And it is incredibly useful to understand market trends and just market nuances that you could otherwise never see. Check it out. To start with the analytics layer, you have to understand what it actually does. And right now we're looking at the East Bay of the SF Bay area in Northern California. On the left, we have Berkeley and Oakland. And on the right, we have Walnut Creek and Danville. The value estimate analytics layer is turned on. And I refer to this as the heat map. And as you can see, there are different colors all over the map. The legend in the top left tells you that the darker colors are the more expensive properties and the lighter colors are the less expensive properties. To change this, we go down to the analytics bar on the bottom. And if I go to the value icon, we see right away. I have top app estimate, top app estimate price per square foot, value appreciation, top app rental estimate, and more. If I want to look at something about a specific property, I can just go to the property icon to the right. This will give me an idea of living area, bedroom count, bathroom count, lot size, and so on. So if I'm looking for areas that offer me a lot of living area, I can just click on the living area and the heat map will show me where I get the most square footage. There's absolutely a good mix all throughout the area, but we can certainly see in the Rossmore area in the middle of the map that this is a slightly lighter color than say some of the properties in the Alamo and Danville area that are slightly darker. If I zoom into a specific area, I can see that the map automatically readjusts and I can see right away, okay, I have slightly smaller properties on the right side of the map in the Cameo Acres neighborhood, and I have slightly larger properties in the Lost Serena Manor neighborhood on the left side of the map. I'm gonna zoom back out to keep showing you the layers. Going to the region icon will tell me things about the area in general. So I can find about it walkability, noise, travel time to work, daytime population, seasonal population, even elevation. All of these are very, very valuable tools when you want to find out things about a specific area. For instance, if I click on the noise, I find out very quickly that there are some neighborhoods and areas that have very little noise, like Moraga in the middle of the map. This is an area that's far away from public transit, it's far away from freeways, and if you wanted to be somewhere and not hear very much at night, this would be the place you would look. But if you want to be in the hustle and bustle of a downtown, you also have that option as well. And I can see very quickly in the lakeside area in Oakland, on the left of the map, there's quite a bit of noise, meaning that there's likely a lot going on day and night. Hazards is the next category that we'll check out. And especially checking out the Bay Area, you want to know about earthquake risk and weather risk. But I can look at things like ozone, air pollution, and the list goes on and on. But if I just want to look at earthquake risk, I click on the earthquake risk, and immediately I see that there are areas that are much more risk prone with earthquakes and areas that are less risk prone. If you know this area, this is not a surprise because the purple on the left side of the map is the Oakland Hills. So this is where you have a fault line running around and you'll likely experience a lot of shaking in the event of an earthquake. And on the right side of the map, you see the Blackhawk area is also very dark colored. But again, not a surprise if you understand this area because that's at the base of a mountain. If you are worried about earthquakes, however, the middle of the map shows you great areas that are not prone to a lot of earthquake risk or damage. Hazards aren't things that people love to talk about all the time, but they are super important to understand. Now we move on to the market icon. If you want to understand things about the broader real estate market, this is a perfect tool. Here we can find sold versus listing, days on market, ownership type, owner occupied, and all kinds of valuable stuff that helps us understand what's actually going on in the broader market. For instance, if I hit sold versus list, I find out instantly where properties go for more than listing price and where properties go for right around listing price. So you can see in the Oakland Piedmont area, if you want to purchase a home, it's not uncommon to have to offer over listing price. But in the Alamo area, homes are going for a little over listing price. And when you're trying to put an effective offer into either of these markets, you need to know what's very common. Now onto the investment analytics layer. This is one of my favorites because I can check out gross rent yield, home equity change, taxes, tax percent of assessment value, and all kinds of things. The gross rent yield is actually the most important in my mind because as the description on the right says, it shows you how much rental income you get and divides that by the estimated property value. So you can see the darker areas are where you get a higher percent return on your investment. If I were looking at the East Bay in general and wanted to identify where I could likely get the most rent with a lower priced property, I would know right away that the purple areas of Berkeley and Oakland are really good places to start. You also have a lot of opportunity in the downtown Walnut Creek area. That's not to say you can't find effective rental properties or investment properties in other areas, but this gives you a very good idea right out of the blocks where you likely could find profitable properties. And especially if you're not super familiar with the area, this tool is worth its weight in gold. Now we move on to the community layer. 
This gives you a macro idea about specific things about people living in certain areas. Now I can find out things like population and population density, but I can also find out about female population, male population, median age, never married. These are all awesome aspects of Top Hat that allow you to understand things about general areas. And for instance, if I was a young person looking to find an area that didn't have a lot of married people, or even just had more single people, I would hit never married. That shows me right away what areas of the East Bay house a lot of single or never married people. We can see right away that downtown Walnut Creek has a lot of single or never married people. And of course, Oakland and Berkeley also have a lot of single or never married people. There are lots of things you can find out about these communities. So if you're curious about specific populations, just scroll through the community layer. And finally, we move on to schools. This is one of the most valuable pieces. And if I want to know about schools in general in the area, all I have to do is hit school ratings. And the darker the color, the better the school. So I can see right away that the Alamo Danville area has great schools. The Moraga Lafayette area has great schools. Piedmont on the left has great schools. But some areas of Oakland don't have great schools. So if I was very school oriented and very much wanted to be in an area where my child would go to a great high school, I would likely not want to move into the Oak Nill golf links area. Now these are just some of the aspects of the analytic layers on top half. The combinations that you can put into the heat map are really endless. And the value of seeing this macro analysis of a region or area cannot be overstated. I highly recommend checking out the heat map layers on top app because even I learn new things every time I come on. I hope you enjoyed the video, but remember the analytics layer is not the only thing that top app can do. So please check out our other videos to see what top app has to offer.